Good morning. Welcome to chair class. If you're looking for chair class, we're going to start soon. I'm just going to give a few minutes for people to find their way here. So if you're just arriving, we're going to need just a chair, a straight back chair, and uh, maybe a cushion or a blanket in the chair so that your hips are at a comfortable height. As we work in that seated position, we'll be seated the whole time. So get yourself set up and we'll start in just a second. So you have a chair ready and blankets for underneath your hips to get them a little bit higher if needed. So I'm going to go ahead to the chair and we'll get started and see if um, my voice is loud enough for you to hear. If you need to adjust your volume first. waiting until 10.30 pops up and then we'll be ready to go. <clears throat> when you pick out a chair to use for the chair class, you want to make sure that your hips, your hip height is a little bit higher up than your knee height. So if you need to put a blanket or a cushion underneath your hips to achieve that, then go ahead and take the time to do it. people who are now watching me straight on online let me just kind of tell you about sides it's going to be easier because you're not in the hot seat across from me at the studio trying to switch sides in your mind and in your body we're all on the same side so because of the way that my screen is um, reversed my right is also your right so when I move this hand and go towards this side, so shall you. Okay, right side, left side. If I move this right leg, so do you. If I move this left leg, so do you. All right, easy, you got this. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> one of the reasons I love chair class is because anyone can take it. It doesn't matter how old you are, what kind of challenges you're facing, we can all sit. And we're going to stay sitting the whole hour. Um, anything that we do that doesn't feel good in your body, just pause, relax, and wait until the next thing we do. So we never want to force our bodies to do something uncomfortable it won't help and it won't make it feel good all right so listen to your hips and your back and your knees 
We'll do a combination of sitting all the way back in the chair and leaning on that back rest occasionally. And we'll also scoot halfway out in the chair where we're supporting ourselves and lengthening a little bit. But at any time, if you want to scoot back and use that back rest, you can. All right, so let's start halfway out in our chair. And we're going to have the feet resting on the floor, hands resting on the legs. And we're going to sink the hips or relax your hips into that chair. So as you relax your hips down, your back can soften a little bit. And then your shoulders can soften a little bit. And we're going to start to breathe a little more deeply. Maybe starting to breathe deeper than you have in a while. So we're going to focus on that breath a lot during this hour. As you breathe more deeply, your rib cage is encouraged to open and close. And your lungs will fill up with more air and then they'll empty out more air. So you want to think of an image of a balloon to breathe really well. You're going to fill up the balloon and expand it and then you're going to shrink it and empty it out. And that back and forth flow is really good for us. Good. So along with relaxing the hips into the chair, relaxing the shoulders, we're going to think of lightly floating the top of the head up towards the ceiling, nice and lightly. So that between the head and the hips, you're relaxed. And there's just a gentle lengthening as you breathe. We're going to add a little bit of a sway side to side as we're here breathing. So you're shifting your weight from one sit bone a little bit more to the other sit bone a little bit more. It's a great way to start checking in with your body. See how things are feeling. And if you work a lot in a chair, if you're sitting at a desk a lot, this is a great way to keep things moving, keep them soft, relax and let go of tension, even though you're still sitting in a chair. There's so much you can do from a chair position. A couple more sways and rock side to side. And this can be your home base. So anytime during the class, if you want to rest and come back to a soft sway, feel free. Good. Coming back into that center place, we're going to ease the arms off the legs. And we're going to let our arms just hang down by our sides. Feel the weight of your arms hanging. Take some deep breaths. And then with the next inhale, we're going to float the arms a little bit away from the body. And then exhale, relax them back down. And again, deep breath in and float out. And exhale, relax back down. And one more time, float them out and reach a little bit. And then we're going to ease the hands right in towards the heart. Prayer position or a folded hand position, whichever feels best. Good. One more big inhale. We're going to send those hands up in the air. 
And exhale, relax everything back down. Maybe drop the chin towards the chest. And again, send it up and breathe in. And exhale, relax back down. And third time, reach up and breathe in. And let's send those fingertips behind the back of the head. Gently relax the shoulders down, easing the elbows open to the sides. Take a deep breath in, maybe open them a little bit more. And then drop the elbows towards one another, drop the chin to the chest. And again, open the elbows, open the chest, take a deep breath in. And exhale, drop it forward. You can round the whole back here. Rotate the pelvis back and look at the belly button. One more time, opening everything up. Here's your cow position in yoga with extra shoulder stretch and then round it forward into cat. Good, coming right back up into center, placing those hands down on the legs. Find that first position that we found. Easy shoulders, dropping the hips into the chair and floating the top of the head up. Right back to that little sway side to side. Check in with the back and see how much you can relax it and soften it here. Nice deep breaths in and out. And then coming back into center, relaxing those arms right back down by your sides. Let them hang and feel the weight of your arms. Good, a little shoulder shrug. So with the next inhale, shrug the shoulders up any amount. And then big exhale, release them all the way down. And again, shrug everything up. And relax back down. And third time, shrug and lift. And exhale all the way down. Good. Starting a little opening of the door in Tai Chi. So the breath is going to start this movement of floating the arms forward and then relaxing and softening back down. With the inhale. And then exhale, relax. And again, breathe in, float up. And exhale, elbows bend, relax down. Again, breathe in and float. And exhale, relax. Let's go one more time. Breathe in. And relax. Nice. We're going to come into a position where the palms are facing each other, right opposite the belly, but facing one another. And let's start to notice the palms and the space between the palms. You can begin to imagine a nice round moon between your palms or a round ball between the palms. So as you listen to the sensations there, you can even feel a little bit of push to support that moon or that ball. As we breathe in, we're going to expand and open. As we breathe out, we're going to bring it back close. And again, breathe in and open. And breathe out and close. So as you breathe.
breathe in, your ribs are opening just like the palms. And then they're closing just like the palms. So this is helping us to breathe more deeply. Good. Now we're going to send that right palm over the left palm. We're supporting that round moon between the palms still. And then we're going to float the palms around the sides of that moon until the left palm is on top, right palm on the bottom. Easy shoulders and elbows here. They're relaxed. Easy. Take a breath in as you circle. And a breath out as you come into place. And breathe in. And breathe out. Two more times. Breathe it in. And out. And breathe in. And out. Good. From here, we're going to go into parting the horse's mane. You can imagine a beautiful horse right in front of you with the mane of that horse between your palms. We're going to begin to press the palms together, stroke and part and comb that mane. The right hand goes a little bit up and forward, left hand drops a little down. And then keep that right palm high to come in on top of the moon, left hand comes underneath. Then we go to the left, press and part and open. Keep that left hand high to come in and embrace the moon. Again to the right, press and part and open. And come in. Let's connect the breath to it. As you press and part, take a deep breath in, and exhale, come into place. And breathe in, part and open, and exhale, back into place. And breathe in, and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Nice, let's float both arms right out to the front and drop the hands resting down on the legs, relax the shoulders, and let's go into some shoulder rolls here. So gently and starting small, send the shoulders front and up and back and down and send them a little front float them up and back and down connecting that breath breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out one more time like this. Breathe in. And breathe out. Nice. Let's go right back to that weight shift a little bit side to side. Relaxing the lower back. Easy shoulders. Easy back. Letting go of any tension that's built up. And then making our way back into center. Good. Working on the legs a little bit. We're going to start with a bow step to the front. So we're going to send the left foot out. Heel rests on the floor. And we lean just a little bit in that direction. 
Lean the shoulders back and that foot has some space to come back in. Same thing on the right. Right heel forward, a little lean in that direction. And then lean it back and bring that foot back in. Again on the left. Send that heel forward, reach and stretch. And then leaning back, ease that foot back in. One more time on the right. Heel forward and stretch. And leaning back, ease it back in. Good, now we're gonna take that same bow step, but we're gonna go out on a diagonal a little bit. So that left foot goes out to the side. Again, a little lean in that direction. And then leaning back brings that foot back in. And same thing off to the right, heel down and a little lean. And coming back in. Connecting the breath to that. So as we send that heel out, we reach and we breathe in. And the exhale brings us back home. Inhale, off to the right. And exhale to return. One more time each side. Off to the left. And exhale back in. And off to the right. And exhale in. Good, relaxing the feet down. Let's go back to the arms and we're gonna connect what we learned with the arms to the feet. So we're gonna start with the right hand on top of that moon, left hand underneath. Relaxing the shoulders and the elbows here. Notice the palms of the hands again and the space between the palms. Good, so as we begin to part the horse's mane with the hands, that left heel moves out so that the left hand is right over that heel, a little lean forward, and then ease everything back to come back home. And then we go off to the right, part the horse's mane a little lean in that direction, and then ease it back to return. Embrace the moon. Again, off to the left, part and open. And ease it back in. And off to the right, breathe. And exhale in. See how relaxed you can get the whole body as you go. So it's more of a float and a breath. Continuous movement back and forth. Let's go one more time each side. Nice breath in. And easy breath out. One more time. Breathe it in. And out. Let's float both arms right out to the front and relax the hands down on the legs. Easy shoulders. Good. So remember as we go through these, especially the Tai Chi movements, don't get overwhelmed learning the patterns. They'll come as you practice more. It'll kind of, you'll get used to those patterns of movement. But it's more really enjoying that slow, easy back and forth flow. And so it's like a flow yoga as well. We're releasing tension from the body, breathing with it really well, and you're just floating side to side. So when you get all the way to one side, you come back, and then you go to the other side, and then you reverse and come back. So it's more that kind of movement that 
becomes meditative movement, which is one of the names for Tai Chi. All right? Okay. So feet grounded back on the floor, hands resting. Nice. We're going to go back to those shoulder rolls again, but this time we're going to start reversing the direction. You don't have to do a great big movement to start with, but we're going to send the shoulders a little bit back and a little bit up and a little bit forward and then relax them down. And again, a little bit back, a little bit up, a little bit forward, and then relax down with the breath, breathing in and breathing out. And one more time, breathing in. And breathing out. Nice. Good. We're going to scoot back in the chair at this point and do some um, leg exercises where you'll use the support of the back of the chair a little bit. All right. So easy shoulders. Relax the neck and the chest. We're going to isolate and use just the quadriceps of the large muscles of the thighs, front of the thighs. We're going to float that right foot out and up and then lower it down and ease it back in. And then the left foot goes forward and up. And relax down and bring it back in. Good. So as the foot goes forward and up, we take a deep breath in. As it lowers down, we breathe out. And on the left, take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. Good. Adding a little ankle pump here. Floating that foot up and forward. Now pull the toes back towards your face and then push them away. Two more times. Pull the toes back and push them away. One more time. Pull the toes towards you and push away. And then softly lower that foot to the floor and draw it in. Same thing on the left. Send that foot out. Floating it up. Pull the toes towards you. And then push away. And towards you. And push. One more time. Pull the toes. And push, and then float that foot right back down, and pull it in. And back to that right leg. We're going to send it up, and we're going to hold it in that position. And we're going to float the whole leg a little bit out to the side, and then a little bit closer across center. So now we're opening, and we're crossing over that midline a little bit towards the left. And we're going to keep going here, back and forth. Keep your upper body relaxed and easy. See how much you can let go of the rest of the body. And let just the hip muscles and the thigh work. Good. Rest anytime you need to, but let's connect the breath if you're continuing. Breathe in to float it out. And breathe out to float in. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. And last time out. And in. And then 
gently place that foot all the way down. Pull that foot underneath the chair a little bit. Maybe rub that top of the thigh out. A little massage, relax the hip. A little rock side to side. Good, so in our chair class at the studio, a lot of times we'll have questions and response and discussion kind of as we go, as things come up. So we don't have that luxury in this format, but you can always send me your questions and I can respond to them later. So hang on to them, remember them and send them later. All right, placing that right foot down on the floor. Again, using the back of the seat for a little bit of support. Soft chest, easy shoulders. And sending that left foot forward and a little bit up. Good, we're gonna hold it in that position. And then we're gonna send it a little bit out to the side. And then we're gonna bring it a little bit in and across midline over towards the right. Only as far as you're comfortable with. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe it in. And out. Keep the shoulders easy. Keep the chest easy. Try to keep the right leg soft and relaxed because it doesn't need to be working. Good. Let's try three more, but rest if you need to. Deep breath in. And exhale, cross it over. And breathe in to open. And exhale, cross. Once more, breathe in. And breathe out. And then soften that foot all the way down. Pull that foot underneath the chair a bit. Massage that left thigh out. Little shift side to side at the hips as well. Loosen everything up. once more against the back of the chair, releasing the arms down by our sides. So this is a supported mountain pose. Gently opening the chest and opening the shoulders So this position of being open. It's so lovely for us to hang out in because you know what we often do is the opposite. We go like this and we live this way. And then all the tissues in the front of the body get tight and closed. So anytime you can go into this open position, it's beautiful for your body. You breathe better here. Your ribs and your lungs have more space to open and fill up with air. So supported mountain pose. And then we're going to breathe it and move it a little bit. So the arms are going to float back and a little bit out to the side. And then they're going to make their way right back down. With the breath, breathe in and open. And exhale to close. Again, breathe in and open. And exhale, close. One more time, breathe it in, relax. Now keep the chest and the shoulders just that open. 
and slowly ease the hands on top of the thighs and just notice the position of the front of your body, how open it is. Take some deep breaths right here. halfway out in the chair again. That halfway scooted out position, feet back underneath the knees. Nice. All right. We're going to practice a Tai Chi um, movement called Repulsing the Monkey. It's a fun little movement. Instead of imagining a horse in front of you, now you have a little monkey. So build your monkey in front of you in your mind. And we're going to float the hands out a little bit to the front. So easy shoulders. If this is too far for you and your shoulders are aggravated here, pull everything in towards your belly. So get it closer and then your shoulders will soften up and be more easy. All right, so positioning those arms in the front. We're going to ease the right arm down towards our sides. Send it out to the side. Bend that elbow in. Meanwhile, that front palm is rotating up. And you're going to pass the right palm over the left palm. And then drop the left palm down to your side. And send it a little out, bend the elbow in, that front palm has turned up, pass the left palm over the right palm. Drop the right down, send it out, hinge it in, and this is the part where our palms are passing over each other, repulsing that monkey away in front of you softly. Drop the left. Send it out, hinge it in, and pass the left palm over the right. One more time each side. Drop the right palm down, and out, and in, and pass. One more time. Drop the left down, and out. And in, and pass. Good. From here, we're going to drop the hands towards the belly, palms facing you. We're going to hang out right here in this meditation tree pose. So we're working on relaxing the shoulders while we're supporting a little bit of the weight of the arms. And see how soft you can get the upper body while you're here. So this is a great way to build strength gently without over, um, over tiring the shoulder joints or putting too much of a load on them. And if this is too much, bring it into the belly even more. If you want to extend it out, feel free. As long as this doesn't happen, this is what you don't want tension at the shoulders and the upper traps. So relax the shoulders down, pull those hands in towards the belly if you need to. We're going to relax here and use the breath. So deep breath in and full breath out. And deep breath in and out. Two more cycles, all the way in, all the way out, and one more time in, and all the way out. Good. We're going to do a little opening towards the right. Follow that hand, a little twist, and exhale it back to the front. 
So we're following with our eyes as well. Turn the head, open a little to the left, and then bring it back in. Keep your back relaxed here. As we open, we're breathing in. As we're closing, closing, we're breathing out. And breathing in. And breathing out. You can rest at any time. We're going to try three more sets. Opening to the right. And back in. Opening to the left. And back in. Two more to go. Breathing open to the right. And in. And open left. And in. Last time. Open, easy chest. Exhale in. And open a little left. And exhale in. Nice. Let's float both arms right out to the front. Relax them down on your legs. And let's go into a little bit of a cat-cow movement here at the upper body. So loosening up in the direction of flexion and extension. We're starting to round the back, drop the chin, look at the belly a little bit. And then we're opening, softly open the shoulders, lift the chin. Just floating back and forth, any amount. Those hips will roll a little forward and back in your seat. Exhale to roll forward. Inhale to open up. And exhale, roll it forward. Inhale, open. One more time, exhale. And inhale. And coming back into center. Nice, relaxing the arms right down by your side. So now we're going to go into a side bending or lateral flexion direction. Same thing, it's nice and easy. So we're going to take a deep breath in, float the top of the head up, and then let the right fingertips ease their way over towards the side. And then deep breath in, float up, and then let the left fingertips ease their way over. And breathe in, lift up. And exhale, drop a little over. And breathe in, float. And exhale, over. One more time each side, breathe in. And breathe out. And last time, breathe in and breathe out. Coming back in the center, we're going to send the feet forward and a little bit out to the side. We're going to build a nice stable platform using your thighs, lowering one forearm <clears throat> down and then the other forearm down. Interlace those fingers. And just folding forward a little bit. Easy lower back. You can have a little shift side to side if you like. So stretching out that lower back, loosening all the back, sides of the back easy, shoulders easy. Once you're comfortable here, you can drop the head forward. So easing that head forward, stretch out the back of the neck. Deep breaths. Gently floating that head right back up where it came from. 
Maybe going right back into that little weight shift and rock side to side. Keeping everything soft and easy. And then leaning away from one side, press the opposite palm into the thigh and ease your way up. Nice. Bringing those feet right back in place underneath the knees. And we're going to go for a little hip stretch. So there are a couple of options here for people. Remember, our bodies are all different. Um, so you only want to stretch to the degree that you're comfortable with. They should be gentle, mild stretches that as you stay there and you breathe, you relax. Okay, a stretch shouldn't make you tense up and tighten up, but it should make you feel good and easy. So for this hip opener stretch, your first option is to bring your right heel over towards the left ankle and let that right knee just drop open. As that right knee drops open, so will the right hip. And you can stay right here and breathe and maybe rock a little bit side to side. And that may be the perfect stretch for you. If you want to go a little bit deeper, then you can ease that right heel up across the left knee into this cross-legged position. Same thing here, maybe a little rock side to side. Only if you're comfortable here. And your knee may be more like this, okay? It doesn't have to look like mine at all. If you're here and this feels comfortable, great. That little sway might help you stay relaxed and soft. And then keep those deep breaths going. <clears throat> the more we can relax into that deep breath, the more our entire system will benefit from it. So we want to sink down into that parasympathetic side of our nervous system. It will calm us and ease us. It will boost our immune systems. It's like sending a um, text message to all the parts of our bodies. Relax. Everything is okay. Little rock side to side if you like. Relax your shoulders. Good. When you've had enough of this stretch, lean back a little bit to make some space for that foot to come off and make its way back down to the floor or coming out of your T-step stretch position, just sink that foot right back down on the floor. Nice. So we're going to go to the other side. Left heel to start with, try out this T-step position so that your knee is opening to the side, that hip will follow. And this may be plenty of stretch for you. Relax your hips into the seat of the chair. Maybe a little sway side to side. And then if you want to go a little deeper, you can lean back and draw that left heel up across the right knee. Relaxing that left knee open and right back to a little breath side to side. Easy shoulders. If this doesn't feel good at your hip or your knee, just come right back out of it. more deep breaths on this side. Good. 
When you're ready to come out of this, you're going to lean your body back, make some space for that foot to coast its way off and down. Planting that foot into the floor. Good. And we're going to ease our way back in the chair for the last few minutes here. So using the back of the seat to support ourselves, I'm just going to bring myself a little closer to you. Good. Resting against the back of the chair. Let's go back to that little shoulder shrug. On your next inhale, easing the shoulders a little up and then relaxing them all the way down. Again, breathe in and relax down. And last time, breathe in and relax. Good. We're going to spend the next kind of five minutes or so listening to the body and relaxing uh, as fully as we can. And I'm going to kind of guide you into a little meditative time of listening and settling in here. So at this point, if you want to close your eyes and just listen to my voice, feel free to do that. You want to find a comfortable position for your feet and your legs, wherever that might be. Same thing for your hands. Just rest them comfortably. Easy shoulders. And then let's breathe deeply and just listen to your body. Notice any sensations you can right now. attention towards your feet and your ankles. Notice the bottom of your feet on the floor and see if you can maybe use any kind of little wiggle or adjustment to relax them a little more fully and let them drop down into the floor. and your knees. Allow them to become really heavy and loose. Maybe imagine those knee joints opening up and relaxing even more. to your thighs and your hips. Allow the large muscles of your thighs to relax and drop down. And let your hips sink into the seat of the chair. Softening your lower back. And your middle back. Nice and soft and easy at the shoulders. And let the ease of your shoulders run right down your arms, right down past your elbows. And right into 
your hands and your fingers. And finally, drawing your attention to the skin and the muscles of your face. See if you can lighten the skin of the forehead a little bit, softening the cheeks. Loosening the jaw. Relaxing the small muscles around your eyes. Finally, softening the mouth, relaxing the tongue inside the mouth. And softly turning your attention right back to that breath. Following each inhale and each exhale. breaths right there. You can keep your eyes closed. Bring a little soft movement into your toes and your fingers and gently open your eyes. So I hope you feel really, really great. And for my regular chair class, um, this is such a great option for you if you um, want to stay safely seated, gently moving around. So this will stay on our Facebook page. You can take the class at a later time if you like, but I'll be right back here next Thursday at the same time. So you can put it on your schedule. Our schedules are a little up in the air, but you can put this on there. And I really encourage you to um, kind of brainstorm about what you can add to your schedule at home right now that will build you up and encourage you and strengthen you. Everyone has a job to do right now and your job, our older generation, is to stay healthy because we need you. You're valuable. You've got the most wisdom out there. We need you to pass that down to us. So stick around. Stay well. And I'll see you next time. God bless.